So one important pitfall is that the financial industry tends to transform everybody into a generalist. Typically, someone finishes his her education and they join a bank or a hedge fund and very quickly they are put in the direction of becoming a portfolio manager, not realizing that given the level of complexity competition in the investment industry, the best chance one has to succeed is to specialize, to specialize in solving one problem very, very well. And what I mentioned in the book is that rather than organizing the work of quants in silos, where every silo is responsible for a particular amount of funds, it makes much more sense to break down the problem of developing investment strategies into seven problems that I describe in the book and let people specialize in those problems. That allows for a core specialization that enables solving problems with a level of depth and sophistication that no single individual could do by themselves. So this is what I call Sisyphean quant, right? Sisyphean quant is a quant that is put in a position, typically not by their own choice, but they are put in a position where they must roll this boulder up the mountain, the boulder being the problem of generating alpha consistently. And they're essentially set for failure. My preference is to take a quant, identify what are his hair, the skills, the strengths, and let that person become really good at something.